it's Mrs. Strauss in my backyard to do a science experiment. I've seen a couple, seen several videos with vinegar and baking soda action and I decided that I wanted to do the one with the two little boys and the Ziploc bag that I attached to our lesson plans. The first thing they did with some help from their mom and their safety goggles on so they didn't get splashed in the face is they put vinegar in the Ziploc baggie next they put food coloring in the bag Then, their mom helped them with the baking soda. And they wrapped it in toilet paper. And, you know, I wondered when the video started, what does toilet paper have to do with anything? Um, but then after I saw the experiment, I realized what the toilet paper was for. Let's see if you come to the same conclusion that I did. Last, they put the little bundle of toilet paper and baking soda in the bag and they held it out of the vinegar until they had it all zipped up. Easier said than done. And they let go. Oh! And it popped. Did you know that was going to happen? When vinegar and baking soda mix together, there's a chemical reaction and it makes a gas called carbon dioxide. And that is part of what you, when you breathe, you take in oxygen, but when you exhale, you are exhaling carbon dioxide. And you can't see it, of course, it's a gas, it's invisible, but you certainly saw the bag expanding and filling with the carbon dioxide right up until it popped and all the carbon dioxide escaped. Try it at home. Send us a video. Have fun. Be safe. Bye.